Okay, so we're going to have a look at how to fix a broken wing. So we've got our minimum RC0 here, and we've actually just run into something and, and put a huge dent in the wing here. So we're going to have a look at the way to fix that. Okay, what we're going to need is something that's got a square end on it and the right width there. And we're actually going to put that over there and use it as a marker. Okay, I'll show you underneath here. I've actually done it. So using the ruler and just lining it up with the 10 mil mark there, so it's level with the leading edge. And we just mark it out like that. And that gives us a nice square piece to cut out. Okay, so the next part is to actually cut that out right along the line there. Okay, so the piece, the piece that you're replacing, you want it to actually be uh, nice and straight, have nice straight edges. So on this longer edge here, I'm just going to use the ruler and cut it out just to get it nice and straight. And we're taking we're taking enough of the wing that we'll uh, we'll be able to glue a piece in there. Okay, so there's the piece taken out. The next part is to get a scrap piece of foam. You see this one's got a nice straight edge on it there. So what I'm going to do is simply mark this. So I'm going to simply mark this the same. I'm just uh, I'm not going to go 10 mil. I'm going to go a bit more than 10 mil, so it's going to hang out the front a little bit. Okay, once again, getting it nice and square. Okay, I'll just mark it out. So there's my replacement piece there. And then we'll cut that out. You might want to just cut on the outside of the, the line that you marked. It's always easier to sand some off or trim some off, but you can't put it back. Okay, so we'll use the, the ruler once again, just to get it nice and square. There we go. So there's our replacement piece, and we'll see how that fits in. Okay, goes in there nicely. You can see that we've got a little bit of a, a lip here, a bit of a gap there, and that's going to be sanded off later. Okay, so that looks quite good. I've got the pen marks on the underside, uh, so the top side is nice and clean. Okay, and that should push in there without any gaps. Okay, so next we'll need some UHU expanded polystyrene, some glue, and we're just going to glue that piece in. Okay, so there we go. Right. Just press it down with your fingers to make it nice and flush. Wipe the excess glue off. Okay, so there's the top. Okay, and there's the bottom there. Okay, so we're going to just let that glue dry and then we're going to sand it back. Okay, so that glue is dry now. So we're going to use a piece of very fine sandpaper. This is 400 grit sandpaper. And we're just going to support it underneath and just very gently sand. Okay, don't, don't be too heavy with the sanding. You don't want to sand the dip into the, the leading edge of the wing here. You just want to match it and make it flush. Okay, I'm just going to extend over the back there and just give it a bit of a sand too. So that's the top and the bottom. Okay, take your time and I'm probably rushing a bit here, but take your time and just do it gently and slowly until you get it to form the same shape as the, the leading edge of the wing. Okay, once more on the top. Okay, and there we go. Just like new, and it's very hard to tell you've patched it up. Uh, the foam I've used here is a little bit of a different color, so you can see it a little bit, but if you're using a, a piece of foam that's the same color, then they'll look quite nice. And that's how you fix a damaged wing.